Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. And I have a perfect Halloween painting for artists of all ages and skill levels. We're going to be using three brushes for this painting today. I have a large square brush, a medium sized pointed brush, and a small detail brush. I'm going to get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. If you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that you'll need to paint along, go ahead and check the description box below. We're gonna do this painting in two parts today as we do for many of our paintings. And I'm going to be using for the background step just black and white, a bright yellow, and a phthalo green. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our biggest brush today, and we're going to mix up a light yellow. All right, so just yellow and white together and that's going to go here at the bottom of our canvas. We're going to have a black hill here later um, so you don't even need to take the yellow all the way down to the bottom just pretty much all the way down but you don't need to. It's okay if you do though because we are going to cover it in the next step. So I'm just going to be bringing that yellow back and forth across my canvas horizontally there and I'm going to bring it up a little bit further just to make sure that I have enough yellow here. It's going to be sort of like the sunset, but of course it's a spooky sunset. So we're going from yellow to green here. So I wanna pull that yellow up maybe about a third of the way. And then I'm going to start adding a little bit of green. So you still wanna have that light yellow and I'm just gonna sneak a little bit of that beautiful green in there. And rather than going back and forth, I'm going to start sort of blending it with what I call crazy brush strokes, okay? So really moving the brush around the canvas and down into that yellow, pretty much in the center here with this color. A Little bit of water always helps that paint go nice and smooth. Right, let's do a little bit darker green there. I'm pulling those brush strokes down into the yellow part, but keeping a little bit of yellow as well. I right, really want to get that brush grow going in all different directions here. All right, let's add another little pinch of green. And I don't want to go too dark here, so I'm going to be using white with these colors to create a little bit of a pastel. Still pretty vibrant, so still a lot of green in there too, but I don't wanna to go too dark because I'm going to be adding some black both in this step and then also later with our silhouettes. We want those silhouettes to be nice and bold and have a lot of contrast from the background. All right, so bringing that down into that light yellowish green, looks good. All right, pretty much all the way to the top with this green. All right, just like so. Now I'm gonna take a pinch of black and add it into that green as well. We'll have a very, very dark green here for the top part of our canvas. Background layer here, same crazy brush strokes. You don't wanna go too far down, just a little bit, just like the beginnings of night creeping in. All right, that looks great. I'm going to do one last little kind of baby step here. I'm going to rinse my brush. And I'm going to add a little bit more of that light yellow right at the bottom. This is an optional step. Just if you feel like your composition needs a little bit more of that light yellow and even a little bit of white here, if you want. All right, but you just kind of want to play around blending these colors together until you create a beautiful, spooky sunset. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and let this layer dry and we'll come back and add everything else. So I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have a dry background and I got fresh colors on my piece of palette paper here. So I have a fair amount of white and black and then just a little bit of green. I actually transferred some extra green I had over. Um, so this is even more than you need. We only just need a tiny, tiny little bit of green for just one of the steps. I, go, I uh, rinsed my brushes and got fresh water at break as well. Let's go ahead now and jump right back into it. We're gonna be using our medium sized brush. And I'm now going to create the horizon line. All right, so this is going to be a curved hill that goes up and then down. We wanna have that sort of spooky shape here, kind of whimsical curve. And we're gonna have our graveyard down here and our spooky tree up on the hill. Nice, solid, black line there right where it meets the yellow and just filling that all in with black with my medium sized brush okay going kind of with the direction of the shape of the hill every brush stroke matters remember that every brush stroke. I know that I'm going fast, but you want to get everything going in that same direction. All right, and just going to bring that a little bit further up right here in a nice clean line like so. All right, that's looking good. All right, just rinsing a little excess paint out of my brush now, but we're gonna be using the same color and the same brush for this next step, which is going to be our tree. And I'm just gonna load my brush up with black here and I'm gonna create sort of the trunk of the tree as a curve. And then it's gonna come up and around into a little spiral. All right, and then I'm gonna come back down and thicken the base up a little bit and have it curve the other direction too. Look at how cute that is. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just use my smaller brush for the next few branches. So still black, but I have a smaller brush now. I'm just going to use this for a little bit more control for some nice graceful spirals. Very light texture here light pressure rather on that brush be careful of drips as well particularly if you're using a stand-up type easel that always gets me <laughs> all right and just kind of balancing my tree and making it my own it's going to be unique your painting isn't going to look just like mine or the other people that you may be painting with. And that's okay, that's your style. So put your own little twist on this. Pun intended there with these spirals. Okay, just like so, and really however you'd like your tree to look. I think I'm gonna have one more spiral coming from the top. That's pretty cute. And I'm gonna do one more. Just to balance everything out. And then just coming back and making things a little bit more solid. Okay, very nice. All right, and now over to our spooky graveyard. So this is super easy. And we're just going to be creating sort of oval shapes that are a little bit sort of bulbous here on the top. And this is almost like some of my paintings that I do that have like a city silhouette in that it's just sort of a collection of shapes 
but each city is unique and each little silhouette graveyard here is unique as well. So it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You don't have to follow along perfectly. And you want some of these ovals, maybe they come straight up, but we're thinking about making our own sort of unique gravestones as they would be. And this one here in the center, I'm gonna actually even start with a rectangle. And then I'll do a little mound on top. And I'm even gonna do a little cross. Really give it that graveyard look. Okay. But feel free to put, of course, any religious symbol or not, however you'd like. I just think that makes it look a little bit more recognizable there. And I'm gonna do some smaller ones in the background too, as if this graveyard kind of goes back further along this sort of lower part of our hill here. However you like here. Just like so. Okay. How simple is that, right? Super easy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse out my brush and I'm going to add my ghost shapes. This is super easy as well. Love doing this part. So I'm gonna start with sort of like an oval shape, kind of coming up towards my tree here, like so. And then we're gonna give him two little arms and then have it kind of taper down here into an almost sort of triangular shape here at the bottom. Okay, then I'm just gonna go in with my small brush and fill in that ghost shape. It's almost like a cookie cutter shape. Really cute. And just pull those brush strokes down like so, okay, nice. Look at how cute, I love these ghosts. Okay, and I'm gonna do another kind of big main ghosty guy who's just sort of like an oval, almost like a teardrop shape. And again, all those brush strokes, you're wanting to have them in the same direction here, all right? Remember, every brush stroke matters. And nice clean line here again along the outside of our ghostly shape and just pulling my brush down so that it sort of tapers off like so into that little spooky graveyard how cute okay and then maybe another one that's sort of a medium size sort of teardrop shape as well just like how we had sort of this depth in our graveyard with the smaller graves in the background, we can have some smaller ghosts as well. I'm gonna do one right over here. I mean, that's also an oval shape to kind of balance everything out. Like so, and then maybe one more little spooky guy with his hands up. Really whimsical shapes. Look at how cute, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's use that white now, still with that same brush. We're gonna let that dry for just a second. And I'm gonna actually sneak a little bit of black into it to make it a little bit of a gray color. And on here, I'm going to create highlights on my little gravestones. And then I'm also going to very gently create some grass, all right? Some spooky nighttime grass. And you just wanna delicately flick your brush up in all of those different directions. And we don't necessarily wanna go over our horizon line with the white, but we can take a little bit of black did a quick rinse there and 
bring some grass up into the horizon line as well, sort of around the graves. Got sort of this bug's eye view here. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch back to that gray, do a few more things with it. So I'm also going to bring it up into the trunk of my tree and sort of accentuate a few of the curves. All right, that just gives it an extra little oomph and it's easily adjustable as well because you can go over it with black if you don't like the white that you add on the first pass. Okay, very cute. And now I'm gonna go back and finish up my ghosts. So adorable, I'm gonna go back to black with that same little tiny brush. And I'm just very delicately going to outline the top parts of the shapes and then just kind of scribble here at the bottoms very, very lightly just to give it a little bit of movement. Okay, that's where we get that sort of, like it looks like a sheet, <laughs> the curves of the sheet there, like so, just little tiny brush strokes very, very light pressure, small brush, like so. And I'm gonna go back and just clean that up a tiny bit. Okay. And on the back ones too, of course, a little bit around each ghost. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna do the faces now, which really just pulls everything together, I think. So up here in our top ghost, I'm gonna do like an oval with a flat bottom and then two ovals for the eyes. Nice. This guy is gonna be a sad ghost. I'm gonna have a sad face here and maybe the eye is kind of slanted. So cute. And then let's have this guy be a happy ghost. Another spooky one back here, maybe with three ovals. And maybe another sort of sad one <laughs> back there. Okay, you get to make your ghosts however you'd like. Okay, then I'm going to grab just as a final touch, just a little bit of light green, which is gonna be that phthalo green mixed with white with our smallest brush still. And I'm gonna add just a few little streaks of green into those ghosts, just for interest and a little accent color. Super cute. And if you go a little bit too heavy handed anywhere, you can add some more white right back on top. And it sort of blends nicely like that. So cute. Okay, just a little bit of blending on that back one as well. So cute. All right, and believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the instruction that I have for us today. So I do hope you enjoyed creating this spooky scene. A sincere, happy Halloween. And if you painted along today, I did create a Facebook group called The Art Club where you can share your work. So I'd love to see you over there. So let me know what you thought of today's painting in the comments section below. Don't forget